Hey there guys, Skibby here from Skibby6 Gaming coming to you with a cool tutorial in my tutorial land with all these slimes everywhere. How did it even get up there? Hey, look at that. I don't understand how it even got up there. It shouldn't have been able to. Get off. Let's get him off. Get the hell out of here. Oh, okay, let's go. Um, on this one here, guys, I actually... I saw a video on YouTube that sh someone showed how to make one of these things and it was like a half hour video and I, I was like, you know, this this could be made easier. So I kind of just took the concept and came over here and made my own and uh, I'm hoping this is going to be a 10 minute video. So <laughs> let's get it done. But basically it's a working barbecue pit. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, whenever you go on your missions for the day, you always come back and you got some steaks or whatever, whatever. So here you just walk up, throw them in. And there you go, they're cooking on the barbecue. It looks pretty cool, it looks like a working barbecue. And uh, that seems pretty cool, but the actual coolest part about it is still yet to come. Um, oh, there you go, cook steaks, shoot right out at you. Done like dinner. That's it, you just wait, the steaks cook out, you could go do whatever, and then you just come back and uh, cook steaks, shoot on the floor, and there you go. I think it's pretty cool. Um, of course, you could always just have a normal smelter that holds it, but I think this is good for like a server, you know, everybody's hanging around, and, and you just want to stop by, drop your stuff off, go to your chest, reload, whatever, come back here, your food's on the floor, cooked, ready to go. So, on that note, let's build this. This is going to be uh, four down, that's why I had to make this small platform. I tried several times to make it three down. Um, this is actually one of the ones, this this took me a, a couple days of just working on different designs and different aspects of it uh, to try to make it cooler. I really wanted to just have the barbecue pit with this, but um, I would say that that would be a very, very difficult redstone challenge. So let's just do it. It's going to start with some furnaces. Pretty straightforward. Put some furnaces down in the ground. So what you're going to want to do now is uh, get rid of these. Crouch place. Some hoppers. Hopper. Hopper. Chest chest and then in the front I added this fire here just because I thought it looked pretty cool you can see the front of the ovens and the smoke comes out so we'll do that at the end let's not mess around too much with it but what we're gonna do as well is uh, is throw our hoppers into our furnaces I'm just gonna throw some train tracks make it look like a grill and uh, let's go ahead and throw our cauldrons on these chests and this is kind of after so many, you do, I can tell you right now, you don't even want to know how many times I just tried to make the barbecue. I tried so many different ways, and I think out of them all, this one right here really looks like it wins almost every time. Um, I fiddled with other styles, but at the end of the day, that's your pretty much your barbecue right there. So let's not waste too much time. So just do yourself a solid and uh, delete a whole bunch of blocks here. You're just going to want to do it. Give yourself some space. <clears throat> I'm not going to tell you how many, just you can fill them in after you're done. And again, this is probably the third time I tried to make this video because I spent too much time messing with hoppers and droppers. So on that note, what you're going to want to do is uh, let's uh, get some room in the front here as well. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is put a chest right here then you're gonna want to put these into that like this dropper hopper into the chest hopper into the hopper perfect so we got that now you're cooking with gas that's perfect and here comes the fun so this is relatively I guess I won't even say it's easy it's I think it's easy only because I've done several tutorials that use this method to move items up um, and so now that we've done this, that's pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put a block down here. Then we're going to put a dropper. Notice dropper, this is very key. Again, even I make this mistake over and over and over again. Uh, once we did that, let's go down here and let's throw a hopper into the dropper from the chest. Looks good to me. Get up in the sky and here's where the tricky part starts. Um, you're gonna wanna stack these uh, you're going to want to stack these droppers up, so crouch place, and make sure they don't go the wrong way. That was one of the errors that I made. Uh, I think that's the best way to do it, is to do it this way. There. See? Already challenging me. 
and there and now you're good so leave that one there and then what you're going to want to do is throw a dispenser so let's clear out our inventory and grab some new stuff here uh, we're going to put a dispenser here let's grab a comparator while we're here redstone dust redstone torch and redstone dust redstone torch we got a block and that looks like all we're going to need for now so let's just get rid of this stuff looks good let's throw the dispenser hopefully stand far back and there we go i i really thought we were going to get this update uh, yesterday but i guess we're not so let's go to the bottom what you're going to do is put a block here get rid of this block throw a torch under there and then what you're going to do is i'm just going to make some more room right here and what you're going to do is put this one up like this and then what you're going to do is throw a torch on the back of this. Oh, I didn't get a repeater. Look at that. Throw a repeater into here and a dust right here. And then a comparator right there. As you can see, that's most of the redstone challenge. Uh, then what you're going to do, guys, is go ahead and create a ladder upstairs by doing this. And putting a torch, doing this, and then putting a torch, almost there, this, torch, then what we're going to do is one more time, there, and then what we're going to do is actually throw a torch on the fronts of these. So at this point in time, we should have success. Uh, I always try to just test things out. Ultimately, this is going to here. We know this works. So throw something in here. Let's uh, pop. There you go. Look, we have success. So I'm going to grab myself uh, some dirt blocks and just fill this in right here. I think if you want to do the fire effect, that's okay. I'm going to show you how to do that in a sec, but... Let's just slowly get this filled up. We can just go ahead and uh, fill that area right there. Let's go through the middle. Fill this area up here. Again, it is a super cool. I honestly, I really wanted to just make it like a real, like a real for like a survival server where people play. You could just go, kind of use it for everybody's personal use. Um, so also what we're going to do is uh, get rid of this. Let's grab some another rack let's grab a flint and steel let's grab some glass another rack flint and steel then let's grab also some item frames for the stake sign and then let's we got steak already so what i did was i just threw another rack here lit it on fire covered that with glass then what I did over here was fill this up with grass. Do not cover that chest, guys. That's going to throw you for a loop. Um, and then what I did with the chest is I used a half slab over it. So you could always do that. Let's just go grab a half slab. You could also use carpet is another thing. You know what? Let's switch it up and let's use some carpet, some green carpet. Let's just throw a half slab on there. I use stone since it matches the barbecue. Perfect. So let's throw some fuel in this bad mamma jamma right here. We're going to need some coal blocks. Throw those in here. That's where all your fuel goes. Perfect. It's going in. And then I kind of dressed it up. Again, the rest of this is all up to you. You can dress it up. I feel like it would look really good if you had a wall of your base kind of here and it was in the corner. Uh, I'm just going to use, uh, let's just use stone. We'll use stone for the purposes here since I got uh, some stone. And up, 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 and away right there. And then I just try to cover this up a little bit. Totally got rid of my item frames here. Raw cooked steak. So let's just go crouch place. Put this on here. Cooked steak. And let's put this in this. And then 
there's several other ways to do it. I like I said, I fiddled around with it a lot, but as you can see, working barbecue pit, ready to go. You can leave it on the side like that. You know, this can be the little station or whatever you do. Um, I did fiddle with this right here. I mean, that kind of looks silly, but it's all up to you. That's this is where the artistic came in. I'm here to show you how to make the redstone work. So as it stands, if you go ahead and grab yourself uh, some pork chops, say, throw them in. Should be good to go. Should be chilling here at your base. You got yourself a working barbecue pit. What's going on? Is it coming? Where's my food at, yo? Order up. Pop. And there you go. Working barbecue pit. Easy peasy Japanesey. Looks good to me, guys. Don't forget, smash that like button if you think my tutorials are cool. Don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel if you want uh, some more cool tutorials and some working barbecue pits and uh, Let's Plays and all that jazz. Uh, don't forget to share this video with your friends on your social media, Facebook, Twitter, and all that jazz. And uh, yeah, catch on the next tutorial. Bye.